This bungalow's ample backyard has a beautiful view that's wasted on its existing uninspired patio space. Joey, that's not an outhouse. <laughs> We're gonna build a streamlined and sophisticated deck, perfect for cozying up and chilling out. Let the games begin. So we got ourselves quite a quaint little yard, actually. We got these huge mature trees, just a real country feel back here, right in the heart of the city, which is really, really nice. But uh, the way it's laid out doesn't seem to be too good to me. We're looking at this area over here, which seems to be the only place that you would utilize, but it's not, uh, doesn't look like it's being used at all. We've got, you know, ugly wall, ugly wall, ugly wall. You're, you're trapped back here. You can't see the rest of the yard, and it's like, kind of like standing in the middle of a frying pan, a little, little toasty. So my idea would be to take the whole design of a deck and move it right out into this area and not wrap it around the house in a traditional fashion, keep it along the fence line so you can take advantage of that beautiful backdrop over there. Let's see what you think. Shelly and Michael were told their low-lying outdoor patio meant a deck was impossible. They want a lounge space where they can entertain and take in the view in comfort and style. I feel that the space there that we presently have reminds me of a sort of prison atmosphere. It's gray, concrete, slab, it's cold, so it's not very inviting. Give me your dream, your vision for what you'd like to see done back here. Well, we wanted um, a deck somewhere that we can come out and relax, have some drinks, mm -hmm. have some munchies, um, have friends and family over. Munchies? Um, mm, that's... I love munchies. <laughs> that's what we favorite. like to do out in the back. Okay. We don't dine outside. Okay. But we do barbecue a lot. Is there a reason why you don't dine outside? Bugs. Ah, so, so anti-bug. Anti-bug. There's a lot of yes, ants. A lot of ants. Right okay. Now. All right. And there's no shade for me. Okay. I need, I need some shade, and this just doesn't do it for me. So style-wise, uh, what would be your style? Contemporary country. <laughs> Contemporary country. <laughs> I can do that. Such, <laughs> if there is such a term. There is now. <laughs> I mean, the style we're looking for is is pretty much like a nice country kind of relaxing feel sort of like a cottage but within our backyard yeah i will come up with a plan for you guys oh, i will thank show you, you so much and thank uh, you very yeah, much let's let's make a cottage close to home coming off the main doors is a large open space accented on top with a stylish linear pergola and below with a flooring surface of mixed stone and composite to one side sits an ample barbecue zone situated in front of two picture window privacy screens. A lounge zone sits opposite and a nearby Eden bar creates room for casual entertaining. The other half of the deck is all lounge, wrapped in large stone walls that are inlaid with moody LED light boxes in keeping with the laid back vibe. An open concept layout allows easy access to the beautiful garden and the view with overlapping pergolas providing an intimate feel. Time to shake things up. Okay, so first day of construction, we get a busy day ahead of us. First order of business is getting rid of all this interlock, and we're going to be stacking it up nicely by the side of the house. And then we're going to be laying out, marking out, and uh, setting our posts in the ground. So I got a lot to do. Let the games begin. The design's really long going back to the house, so we want to make sure these string lines are perfect and parallel with each other. So these are really the first thing in making this deck nice and straight. That's good there. It's good. It's good. It's good, it's good. So we are about to set our posts into the ground, and uh, because we are floating this deck, which means we are not physically connecting the deck to the framework of the house at all, it's free floating, which enables us to use these very cool spikes. So as opposed to digging holes and putting in builder tubes and setting concrete, we can actually just take these wonderful spikes and drive them using a jackhammer right into the ground. But the only thing about this is uh, it has a tendency to get a little loud. Buckle up. Now that's compressed. Feel like a man? They can't hear anything. <laughs> all right, I'd say not too shabby. We've uh, got all the interlock taken up, most of it. we still got to take the path out, but that allowed us to start putting our spikes in, which we've got a lot in, and the rest of them will go in tonight. And then when we get back, we'll be moving on to framing. That quick, that easy. So, uh, nice start. Yay! 
So here we go, first day of framing. We got the rest of our uh, saddle stakes put into the ground, so we're good to go getting posts up in the air and beams and joists and the like. This is gonna be a very rectangular shaped deck, which should make everybody happy, because it should mean that the framing goes really, really quick. But the real deal for the day is gonna be fighting over who gets to work in the sun and who gets to work in the shade. I think I call shade. Shade. <laughs> So we're putting in some pretty heavy-duty beams here on this back half of the deck because we're going to be doing a very interesting inlay in the center. We're actually going to be using this very cool product, which allows us to put stone right into the deck surface. So instead of just a single stone inlay, it'll actually be like an interlock stone walkway sitting on this very cool subframe. So, uh, but it's stone, so it's heavy, so we want to make sure the structure is more than adequate. I think it will be. say we had a pretty good day, got lots of framing done, and we feel fantastic about ourselves. We'll be doing decking next. <laughs> <laughs> That's a keeper right there. <laughs>has been Human Anatomy with Joe. <laughs> Tune in next week to find out how we're all like drills. <laughs>
feature and a structural feature as well. Yeah. All right, so right now we are putting up uh, more beams. Uh, this is gonna be for our barbecue area, so what's gonna happen is uh, that area's gonna be stoned down there. These beams are gonna come over the top of it. It's gonna be covered with some sort of pergola. Uh, I haven't figured out what it's gonna be, but it's gonna be awesome. It'll look a lot better than this when they're done. I hope but so. This, but this is still cool. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I can actually see the epic beam lines that are going right through the center of the project, which is what I wanted because of the very cool features that are happening symmetrically off to the each side. So that's going to look great. And uh, eventually, we're going to get around to, you know, moving the shed. But uh, just keep procrastinating. I have no idea why. I think it's just because it weighs about six tons. Maybe that's why. We'll get around to it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty sick. Can you imagine when all six of these go in? Yeah, it's going to be awesome. We're never going to go home. Oh, I'm going to be going home. <laughs> we hauled in the composite with pipes of steel. These bad boys. <laughs> Ducking went down, and beams of all kinds were erected. Things are looking up. So, uh, it's shed moving day. We've been putting it off because of its impossibility. But uh, we're going to go ahead and try. Let's give it the old call to try. Well, we're thinking maybe after this uh, little endeavor, uh, we're going to just pick the house up, flip it around. Uh, the front door can come out onto the deck. Joey, that might be. Joey. Well, that nice. would interfere with the design. Oh, sorry. What's up, Paul? Hey, Jeff, what's going on, man? Not bad. You? I'm, I'm doing good. Nice, nice. All right, so we got a very contemporary design. Yeah. Everything is very rectangular. You can see cool. I've got these structures that are going over there in the lounge area. Yeah. And they're going to be tiled. And in the center of that area, as well as here, plastic substructure. Stone on the top. There you go. I like it. So that'll work really, really well. My concern is obviously the tones that we're playing with are very, yeah. very light colored. Um, can you match that with the stone? So the stone I want to use is an interlocking stone. It's pretty big in format, so it'll fill that space nicely. The color of it is gray, so it's going to tie in well with all the different grays that are going on, on site. Um, but it's also just going to be nice to incorporate the two materials together, having wood and stone. Over here, uh, you can see we've got this curved pathway. And I want your thoughts how to make it more aligned with what we're doing. So I think if we just keep with the existing layout. OK but make it a little bit more geometric and not so serpentine. I think that will work, but also using these really nice square pads. Beautiful, buddy. Cool, man. That sounds absolutely perfect. Uh, sounds like a so, play. Yeah. Can't wait for you to get started. Let's All right. So the time has finally come for us to uh, move the blue shed. And, uh, but I think we are going to need more manpower than, well, me and these guys. Yeah. Jeffrey. Jeffrey, start ready. ready. I'm waiting. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> just need a slight, slight push on the front edge, and that's it. Just a little tap over there. Just a little tap. Just a little tap. Just, just yeah, work, 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 and we're perfect. Right Come there. Let's go. Done. All right. Well, I, I have to say that uh, for something we put off over and over and over again, and uh, there are some people amongst us that didn't think we'd be able to do it as easily as we did. We've been putting it off because of its impossibility, impossibility, impossibility. <laughs> Joey, that's not an outhouse. He's right. One time. <laughs> <laughs> Things are moving along tickety boo. We got our marble tile going up everywhere. That's looking absolutely stellar. We got our LED lights and our acrylic panels that are showing up. Doesn't look like much now, but soon it'll be boo, beautiful. Heidi's showing up a little later on today. We're gonna have a little chat. And in the meantime, we're gonna be doing screens and planters and bar tables that we've got in place now, barbecue tables, finishing all that area. So basically it's just a lot more mess making, but we're getting close to being done. <laughs> Hey, Paul. 
Paul. How you doing? Hello, Heidi. Nice to see you. Good to see you as well. Yeah. So, um, yeah, just a little on the modern side. Yeah, holy streamlined. We've got really straight lines, yeah. ultra modern, really linear. Cool. Yeah, exactly. So we got marble on these structures here. What I love about these structures, they're gonna have they're gonna be illuminated from the inside, like blue LED lights. Oh. We've got stone in the floor, which is again really unusual. Jeff just laid all this in here today. What well, are we doing? I know I was talking to Shelly, and she did say that they prefer to dine indoors. That's right, yes. So they don't need an outdoor eating area. They want to do cocktails and appetizers outside, but move in for the main meal. So skip right. the formal dining table out here. Perfect. What I'll do is create a casual dining appetizer area in the bar area and just use the rest as a lounge. Now this is the lounge area, so I think what would work best is a nice long three-seater sofa over here, a couple of club-style chairs over here, okay. coffee table, footstools, make this like a place they want to hang out in the evening. Fantastic, Heidi. See you in a bit. I'll go measure. All right, give her a shot. Is it blue? Oh, I like it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty sick. Can you imagine when all six of these go in? Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. We're never gonna go home. Oh, I'm gonna be going home. <laughs> <laughs> Days are always bonkers, and today is no different. We got lights in place, we got bars in place, we got barbecue tables in place. We're gonna get this thing done. All right, you two. Tell me if you recognize your backyard now. Jeff came by for a consult and even helped us move the shed. Yes. Tiles and stone went in, Heidi stopped by, and lights are aglow. Looking sweet. Final days are always bonkers, and today is no different. We're cleaning the floor and getting a little help from Mother Nature. Hopefully that stops soon. Uh, well, we got the shed in place. Well, it's the old shed, but yet it's a new shed, but yet it's an old shed. How tricky is that? New facade on that made the old one just kind of disappear. We got steel rafters to create the pergola, which is a cool effect. We got lights in place, we got bars in place, we got barbecue tables in place. We're uh, doing some finishing trim here and there, and Jeff's got his work started around the corner, so we're gonna get this thing done. So the existing garden that was here, it was this really nice kind of meandering plant bed with a walkway beside it. Um, but to go with the whole contemporary theme, I decided to put in these really, really nice big rectangular paving stones. Um, and as far as the plants go, the bones of the, of the plant bed are still good and they're intact. I just decided to spice it up a little bit, throw in a few different varieties of grass, just that way it ties in with the rest of the deck. And uh, away we go. Now, Michael and Shelley didn't want a formal outdoor eating area, so what we did instead was put in an extra large lounge area. And the furniture that works perfectly here is this great three-seater couch and a couple of club chairs. Now, I wanted to put the couch this way so you can just sit back and enjoy the expanse of their backyard. Man, I just love projects like this because even though technically we stayed in the box with the hard rectangular shape and the contemporary feel, we got right out of the box because the whole way the deck was positioned, up against the side of the house, taking advantage of the yard to the side. What did we start with? We got a patio area here that was just completely useless. It was roasting under the sun. It didn't have any invitation feel to it at all. Now, We've got a gorgeous barbecue area. We've got pergolas overhead made of steel, all kinds of different textures, stone on the floor. And we've got just the ultimate lounge area, wicked blue LED lights, marble, things you wouldn't expect to see on a deck, but man, they're here. Radical transformation? I think so. I think they're going to love it. All right, you two. Tell me if you recognize your backyard now. Whose wow. backyard am I in? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is just absolutely amazing. Wow. Oh, yeah. I love the chairs. Isn't that great? Yes, the chairs are absolutely beautiful. And you've got a barbecue area that I think is a little bit more attractive than before. Absolutely, and I love the screens behind the barbecue. Isn't that That's nice? amazing. I absolutely love the blue that's all around the deck, especially the country blue, because I just love that color. So now you know you didn't want a dining room outside. Oh. So this, this is a bar area, but it also doubles as an eating area as well. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And Jeff put his put his stamp on things as wow. well. 
the walkway looks amazing. Isn't that great? Yeah, the walkway yeah. is absolutely yeah. amazing. Yeah. The lounge area. It's absolutely stunning. You like it? I absolutely love it. Isn't I would that never have thought of having these kind of lights in a deck. Well, now I'm gonna act like a little child now because this is so cool. Do we get to keep that? Oh, you get to keep this. Okay. I'm gonna Come be playing on. with it for a little while and then I'll give it to you. So you notice how they're blue? Yeah. All right, so you got the blue lights? Yes. Or you can have red. I'm like, or you can have purple. Oh. I love the lights. The lights are amazing. You know, I can change the colors. Of course, Shelly likes the blue. I might like the red. And it's just nice to be able to sit out there and, and have your own space. And now you'll notice in the floor. Oh my gosh, look at that. I love the stone. Very cool. I love all the textures and I love the marble. It's like a resort in my backyard. Oh, that yeah. is absolutely fantastic. Do you remember that, the, the, the blue <laughs> I, shed? I'm looking at there and going, what room is this? The whole point was to change the facade so it just blends in absolutely perfectly. Wow, that's yes. amazing too. Very cool. Oh, very cool. It's yeah. understatement. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, thank Shelley. you. Oh. Did they love it? I would absolutely say so. I have no doubt in my mind that when it comes to finding a place to relax, they're not going to have to search much further than three feet out their back door. Some modern flair with some country charm. They say for an area they didn't use at all before, things are about to change. My glasses apparently were on my forehead. Oh, that was good. <laughs> this side right now is super cool. This side <laughs> looks so good.